There's people who invest into vending machines. However, I make money from vending machines in a different way. I just keep checking the change slots until I find some money. And today, I'll be doing that for a hundred vending machines. Let's get started. Ocean man, take me by the hand. What's good, Betch? Uh, we're making a start right now. It's 4.45 a.m. Sometimes you gotta commit to vending machines scruffling. 100 vending machines starts now. I used to do this all the time as a kid. I'm telling you, as a nine-year-old, I was making bags. My mom had to question if I was drug dealing. We might have just banged out 10 vending machines. I'd be lying if I told you I wasn't excited. Not knowing how much money you can find makes this pretty addicting. Flashback 10 years ago when I started doing this, I remember bragging to my friends, yeah, I pay for my own bus fees. How about you? Your mom pays for your bus fees. Oh, I see one. Oh, I see one. Can't reach it. And boom, we just started. We're already making money. Yes. 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 Oh, yes. First dollar. We made about one dollar in five minutes. That's pretty good salary. Minimum wage in Hong Kong is $37 an hour. And me hitting $1 in five minutes, that's 12 an hour. I'm trying to buy a plane ticket to the UK in November and we don't have time to waste. Okay, now the only problem with these ones is that nowadays all these vending machines are not accepting coins, but I'm still gonna check. Okay. Nope. There's a joint in there. Can't tell if it's five dollars. Oh, that is five dollars. Yo! Wait. Oh, we might have just hit jackpot. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah. We got a free joint too. Five dollars. Enough to make a grown man, woman, heterosexual, bisexual, pansexual, and all the rest cry. This is that hustler life that I was about as a kid. Put that in the pocket. Uh, right now is looking a bit, a bit, bit dangerous. I can't actually, you know what? Matter of fact, I'm actually very happy right now. I found six dollars. If I didn't get up at 4.30 a.m., you know, hustler vibes. I probably wouldn't have six dollars. An extra six dollars just to uh, get myself some milk tea is actually the vibe. So I'm having a great time outside. Let's go. I was knocking down vending machines on a roll. I'm already at third of vending machines, but still at six dollars. Yo, I can't explain how awkward I feel. Yes, awkward indeed. I was in a strange position. People I thought would not pick up their coins when they drop it under the vending machine because it's just a few dollars and it's dirty under there, but apparently people are actually hustling for their cash. Who cares though, now it's time for a fun fact. Did you know that vending machines kill 13 people a year? <sighs> Hello guys. Today I cannot find vending machines. However, there is no however. I keep saying however like there is something else I can do. No vending machines means no profit. No profit means no home. Morning. Good morning. It's tough. Morning. <sighs> morning. Oh, I'm still searching for a vending machine, so I beat up a kid. He was only 13. I couldn't find vending machines, but I found phone booths. Kind of the same thing. They both have changed compartments. I beg. This is the eighth time I've walked into one of these, and nothing. You know what this calls for? This calls for a moment of manifestation. Dear universe, um... You want to fuck yourself, you white privilege bitch. Just hung up on me. Hold on, what? Dear universe, uh, I want to say I am super grateful of being alive at this moment right now. Of course, there's so many people out there who are actually aren't alive. And you are dead, okay? Now fuck off. <sighs> the sun was coming up faster than a water hose. And all jokes aside, I really enjoyed taking time away from my computer and just walking around. Something I quite honestly haven't been doing. It is now about 6 a.m. I really can't find any more vending machines. I've only been looking through uh, those telephone booths. So far it's going decent, $6, still stuck on $6. Uh, let's keep going. I thought I was gonna slide. Uh, I went back to my old ways. I used to dive for coins inside of every church pond. And when the priest or whoever says, Hey, you can't do that. I just pretend I'm mute and then throw some sign languages and walk off. Nothing here, man. Are people just not very financially well off here? <laughs> After another hour of walking, still no vending machine in sight. I was losing hope until I finally found one that didn't have a change slot. <sighs> I'm outside a Chinese restaurant just 
trying to grab some feng shui on my way. All right, I, I feel better now. My, my feng shui feels revived. Let's keep going. Kind of forgot about the whole challenge, but I was just enjoying my time being in the moment. Yeah. On that Hollywood, big moves. All right, a quick shot of the cough syrup and less than 10 minutes later, finally found another vending machine. Yeah, sure. Finally found a vending machine. And there's jack shit there either. Technically, these are all vending machines. A machine that dispenses small articles such as food, drinks, cigarettes with a token or coin inserted. This dispenses clean clothes that you put in with a payment. So technically, these are vending machines. So that's 10 off the list. Okay, at this point, I'm just getting the vibes that there's another dude just like me walking around the city and scraping out all the coins under the machines. Cause I am not finding any. It's getting more and more awkward. <sighs> One of the big reasons why I make these kind of videos in public is because I'm trying to get myself out of that comfort zone to stop being nervous around other people. Good day, people. I don't know how, but somehow I ended up in an old guy's basement and I'm stuck here. Sorry, sir. That was the guy that locked me in here. Hopefully he lets me out pretty soon. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm saying this, but thank you all for 1,000 subscribers. That's actually quite ridiculous. And yeah, some great things are happening for the channel. I am making a lot of emails to random ass companies, people, groups, organizations, just to get a strange video coming. And without further ado, thank you all for watching. Bye.